Welcome to the weekly roundup. Division One time, brought to you from the Portland Hotel. I'm Wayne Knowles with the great man Darcy Evans. Knowles, how are you going? Good mate. I Good. missed you last month. I missed you last month. Have I, have I missed him? Yeah, I, I think there. you have. You have. I think you have, mate. You know, I missed you the, the, the grief, the cheat, the payouts, the everything else. Well, without me, mate, I don't know <laughs> what your life would be. <laughs> right. Anyway. Hey. Uh, it's been good. We've changed the format since you've gone, because oh, I actually get a few words in this time. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. Individual goal scorers get mentioned, because, you know, when you, when you play in the wing like I did, probably scored one goal your whole career. Just get your name out, Reds. It's not bad. You so you weren't playing the wing properly then? No, exactly. Anyway. Let's get straight yeah, into it. Straight into Division 1. Straight no. into Enough of us talking shit. Yeah. All right, straight into it. And it was uh, Audi Arena and Thebe over. It was Ross Trevor Old Collegians, 14 5 89, defeating Tetri Gully, 10 goals, 6. Sucks, it sucks. This just shows how much class above Ross Trevor are at the moment. Yeah, we, we just said this off camera before, yeah. mate, but uh, they are susceptible. There's times mm. Port District of Court have, have done them, you know, like... Yeah, off guard. You know, they're very good. Don't get me wrong. They're a very, very, yeah. very good unit. But, you know, what I don't think is right is that they're playing all their home games where... Fabio Oval is a big, they get fitter and faster if they're playing at Fabio Oval all the time too. Well, you play the granny, but anyway, that's not yeah. for me yeah. to. Well, that's yeah. not for me to bring up. Anyway, for Ross Trevor, we had Heath Kamane with three, Dawson with three as well, Fantasia and Manuel both kicking two, with Hurley, Zuna, Bacanello, and Jordan all kicking singles. With Jordan, uh, De Matisse, Jonas, Mead, Nelligan, and Dawson in the best players, mate, and for the Gullies. Yes, yeah, got Personos with three, Melville with two, uh, Tigerman, yeah, Tigerman also with yep. two, Menzel also with two, and Latham with just the individual, the individual there. With, there. With, yeah, with the best players, Menzel, McKay, Personos, Tigerman, and Spittle. Spittle in the best there, so, yes, it's, I don't know, um, I'm, Ross Cavan no. for me, I just, as much as I love yeah, him, no, I, reckon I just think that, anyway. And these come in, fire and so, oh, yeah. it's a unit. Anyway, the next one, it, um, oh, no, upset, me, you reckon? Me, yeah, a little bit of an upset. Yeah, yeah, by, this, by this margin, I think. Yeah, me laptop's going flat, but uh, it was Payne and Mackers Boys, 14 10 94, defeating Henley, 7 goals, 8 50. Henley have been travelling well. Payne went off the, yep. Yeah, it's harder to pick than a broken nose at times. No, it is, but that's, that's what we love about it. So, um, for Payne and Dust? Yeah, for Paynham, yeah, well, we saw we've got um, Foster with five, Davies with three. Davis. Davis, individual to White, Ansel, Lowe, Wagner, and Jolly, and Richards. Yep. And the best player, Orsielio. Ocello. Ocello, there you go. Yep. Richards, Richard Jolly, Davis. Nick Jolly, up there too, uh, Foster, right? and yeah, oh. Davis. And for Henley, we have Ebert kicking four with Raleigh, String, um, Elberfin. Sorry, Elfin Bond, I'll get that right. Um, kicking singles with Brad Ebert Best, Ferguson, Pedersen, Gordonson, Thring and Schwartz in the best for the Sharks. So, Macca's boys, just yeah, thank just, you for the chocolates. Yeah. And now we're talking, this is a side that's not really... And we talked this, off, talk this off camera exactly. as well. It was Port District, 20 goals, 16, 136, defeating the off-the-boil Adelaide Uni, 10 6, 66. They are sitting second bottom, but... There's only two games between Adelaide Union second bottom and Goody Saints who are second. There's only two games, which is another close competition, this one, but I think Adelaide Union are certainly struggling. They're struggling. Could it be the second time since 1912 they get relegated to Div 2 if they don't pull their socks up at the moment? 1911, was it? 1911, I think it was. Uh, when, we, when we were in school? Exactly. Sure. So, <laughs> um, for districts, we had Batty with four, Carlisle with four as well, Rosenthal with two, O'Neill with uh, three, sorry, O'Neill with two, Drogamola with two, Heffernan, Gaffney, Corcoran, Williams and Eccles yeah. all kicking singles with Rosenthal, Gaffney, Brother of, Brother yeah. Ovs, yes. O'Neill, McInerney, Carlisle and Batty. And so, Jake Rosenthal, good to see him back in the best players as well. I haven't seen him around for a while, so maybe may been injured, but he's come back with a few goals and the best players. He's been a uh, heart and soul of um, um, District for many, yep. many years, a junior player as well. So For the Blacks, mate. I knew him in his first name. Um, Penniment with two, uh, language, lang uh, brothers of, M yep. language and N language. Uh, Pfeiffer, Dads, Bernard, Charlie, Willis and Marnie, Marini. Marini. Yep, and best players was language, Hargraves, Adams, Charlie, Slade, that was, um, yes, Charlie, I should say, yep. uh, Slade and Deering. There you go. So, just uh, gee whiz. Right. So there's only two games between Goody Saints 
who are second and LAG second bottom, so very close competition. And speaking of goody stones, they went up to Max Amber Sports Field last Sunday and they gave the Raggies a bit of a touch up. It was goody Saints 10 19 79. If they kicked straight, it would have been it would have been even worse. Defeated of Athelston, one goal five eleven. One goal five. Wow. Not good footy. That was not good footy at all. So just the one goal the whole game. Athelston, but then they slapped. They, I said they're just all two, one game out of five, but they're still sitting seventh at the moment. So it's just the percentage. Didn't kick a goal in the last quarter. No, that's right. Wow. Yeah. For Goody Saints, mate. Yeah, we've got uh, Oakley with two, Matthews with two. I individuals to Whaley, Scara, Ellis, Dempsey, little Jackie Pinto, whose yep. dad was a legend at Flinders Park, of course, and Heitman. Uh, Finished the goal scorers with the best players with Burgess, Carter, Duncan, Ovin York and Elms. And for Atherston, the single goal kicker was Monda, uh, Morello, Sangamano, Glenn, Randa and Newell in the best for the Raggies there. So, um, not real good there. So, in the last game, another of hiding two. Division 1, another touch up here with a tune of 101 points. It was Mousy's boys, 20, Prince Alfred, 22, 18, 150, defeating. Jack Painter's Mobbery, 7-7-49. Now, by all accounts, they're very, very, very young at Mobbery and they're doing some rebuilding. Mate, absolutely, but they will and go down to Div 2, unfortunately. But sometimes you need to. Yeah. Sometimes you need to. To rebuild, know? get the kids going, get, win some games. Win some games, enjoy your yep. footy again. Um, but, you know... It's not good to be handed 101 point losses. No, so, um, and they're, let's be honest, they're up a quarter time by two goals. Um, only kicked a, you know, kick a behind in the second quarter and then really did nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like they've done nothing after quarter time. It should have been up and about. But anyway. So for our, um, for Prince Alfred, Gratz kicked four. Wicks, Dowd, Clark all kicking three. With Coles, Buckham both kicking two. With Hay, Jolly, Lashford, the Lashford brothers and Wicks all kicking singles. With Gratz, Jolly, Wicks, Edmonds and Will Dowd there in the best for the Princes, mate, for the Reds. Yeah, the, sorry, the two Wicks boys there. Yep. So Mitchell Wicks, I think that's Tim Wicks. Mm -hmm. Their dad, Tim Wicks, also played well over 100 games with PAC as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because yeah. yeah, he was in my class at school, Tim Wicks. So yep. yeah, good to see they were at Nord, but obviously now uh, back to the old scholars, and it's good to see them out there. So yep. uh, well done, getting the best players and getting some goals too. So anyway, for Mobbery, we've yep. got McNaught with two, Taylor also with two, Gibson also with two, and Fulton, the individual goal scorer there. The best players, Gibson, Bowman, Fogden, Taylor and Knightley. Knightley. Knightley, sorry. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, a bit of you know, a bit of work still to do there at Mobbery, but they'll go down to Division 2 for 2019 yeah. and they will certainly rebuild their pretty proud club. They've been around for a while. Correct. So. Um, let's move on to this week's games, mate. Um, what have I done here? I've pushed, pushed the wrong button on the laptop, as I do. You love pushing um, buttons. <laughs> Push your button. Um, Ross Trevor taking on Atherston at Audi Arena. Again, Audi Arena. That's where the well, they've got no home ground at the moment. Oh, crack, yeah, the Campbell Down Oval's getting rebuilt. And it's going yeah. to be an another cracker too. It's going to be an absolutely amazing uh, establishment once yeah. it's done. Uh, look, Ross Trevor going to get their, uh, their more of their percentage up on what it is at the moment. So they're going to smash, my, um, you'd think, by a long way. No, yep. sorry. Ross Trevor, yeah, a fair bit for me. Uh, Paynham taking on Port District up at Paynham Oval. Oh, I think Paynham, this one, I think they're in fine form at the moment, coming good at the right end of the, the year. And Port District, District's no District, slash at the moment. District yeah. playing good footy too. No slash as well, but I've still gone for Paynham oh. at home. I'm going to go for Port District in yep. this one, mate. I just think um, District's, you know, Paynham beat Henley last week, but I just think Districts have the capability at times to, yeah, um, to claim a big scalp, and they've done that in beating Ross yep. Trevor, and I think that they'll claim... Paint them this week. Uh, Pernaringa Oval, Tedrick Gully taking on Prince Alfred. Another cracking game. I think yep. the KC big win last week, probably coming right at the good end, but I think Tedrick Gully at home, Pernaringa Oval, going to be too good. Yeah, Tedrick Gully for me, they're always tough to beat at home, but I, um, they, they did get rolled at home last week, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I think, yeah, there's probably a little bit too much class there yep. for Prince Alfred. Adelaide Uni taking on Mobbury at Uni Oval. Well, you'd think the Uni battle has to win battle this. The cellar dwellers. Have to win this. <laughs> Is it? So uh, look, Uni will win this, and that will save them, will, will somehow help them towards the Jump that relegation. That's right. Jump out of Maybe Henley if Henley lose, which we'll have to go to that game as yep. well. So you would, it depend on the percentage at the end of this game. 
And match of the round for me oh, is uh, Goody good Saints at Goodwood Oval taking on Henley Sharks. Jeez, there's been some cracking games between these two clubs oh, over the years, has, hasn't there? There's only one game between these, even yep. though Henley are out of the five, but Goody Saints are second, still one game. Yep. Um, so, look, oh, small oval, Goody Saints, I'm going for Goody Saints. Goody Saints at home, yep. I reckon. I think they're just going to be, they play that ground so well. So Anyway, that's been Division One. Thanks for watching this week. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, have a great week of footy this week, and we'll see you all again next week. See you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.